Today I'm gonna show you how to upload wirelessly to your SLA printer. Listen. What is up guys? I hope you guys are having a great day today. So today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about how to upload your files wirelessly to your SLA printer. You know, walking a USB stick down to your printer feels like the year 2000. I'm not sure if you feel that way, but where my printer is, it's remote and I need to do a lot of walking just to get to my printer. And guess what? If I make a mistake while I'm copying my files, then I'm gonna have to be walking right back to my computer and then right back remotely to where my printer is. So that could be a hassle and that could get old really quickly. Most manufacturers nowadays do not include a Wi-Fi interface for an SLA printer. And I'm pretty sure that has a lot to do with cost. So until they start including it, we're just gonna have to keep walking our USB to our printers or do we you know after doing this 10 20 times one after the other i decided there must be an easier solution to get this done and why reinvent the wheel so i went looking and on the anycubic photon group a guy by the name of will cooney hey will i'm sorry if i'm messing your name up he has already done this and he provided online an image file that you can use with a Raspberry Pi W. So enter the Raspberry Pi W. This is a very small cost-effective device, about $10, that could give you the functionality of a wireless USB stick. All you need to do is put the image on a micro SD card, put it in the Raspberry Pi, and plug it into your printer. It is that easy. Another benefit of using a Pi Zero W is you can use it for future projects. And I have a lot more projects that are lined up using this same Pi W for your SLA printer. So here are the steps we're gonna follow. First, we're gonna download the image. Second, we're gonna put the image on a micro SD card. Third, we're gonna configure it to join the Wi-Fi network. Fourth, we're gonna connect it to our SLA printer. And fifth, we're gonna test it out to make sure it shows up on the printer. So let's get started. If you go online, I have provided a link to the image in the description below. You download the image. Now you need a way to get the image onto the micro SD card. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go online and download a piece of software called Escher and I have provided a link to that software in the description. You install that software and it will allow you to burn this image directly onto the micro SD card. Once you have done that, you need to copy these two files onto the micro SD card. One of them is wpasupplicant.conf and when you open that file up, you need to put these contents in it. You need to edit the name of your Wi-Fi network and you also need to add the password for your Wi-Fi network in this file. Please ensure that the file name does end in CONF and not TXT. I actually tripped up a number of times because OSX did not show me the extension of the file. So make sure the extension of your file is .conf and not .txt. You want to copy these files onto the boot partition and once you have them on the boot partition, you eject the micro SD card, you put it in your Pi Zero and you turn it on. Once you turn it on, the Pi Zero is going to connect to your network. 
Once it's on your network, you should be able to find it in your Finder or Explorer in Windows. And from there, it's as simple as dragging and dropping the file you want onto the shared folder that you found for your Pi Zero. Once that happens, it uploads onto the Pi Zero and then your SLA printer is able to pull that file and use it for printing. Now a Raspberry Pi Zero W will cost around $10 US, but there are bundles that you can get that cost a little more, which I suggest highly that you get. These bundles come with an HDMI to micro HDMI where you could hook your Pi Zero W onto a monitor and it also comes with a USB OTG cable which allows you to plug a USB directly into the Pi via a small extension cable. It also comes with a really nifty case, some screws, a screwdriver and some breakout pins for your Pi W. This will become very important when we move on to the rest of our projects which are coming up very soon on the channel. So there you have it guys, my breakdown of connecting your SLA printer to wireless. If you like this video, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you'll be notified when I have new videos coming out. Until then, have a good one and happy printing.